couple quick examples. We just want to take a look at this and think um, basically what different slopes are going to affect a line. All right, so all of these, if we're thinking like y equals mx plus b, all of these have the exact same y-intercept. There's like nothing after the, the x term. So notice they all have the y-intercept right here at the origin of zero. The comparison here, though, is going to be the different slopes. What we should be noticing as we look at this, let's start with the 3x. That slope is going to be a positive 3. What that means is um, it's like 3 over 1 if we want to think rise over run. So if we start at a point we know, we can go up 1, 2, 3 units before we go over 1 unit. Now, the smaller this number is for our slope, the less steep the line is. So over here with x equals 1, uh, that has 1 out in front of the x as its coefficient. So that's up 1 and right 1. Up 1 and right 1 to get additional points on that same line. Now, as this gets smaller and smaller, it's going to get closer and closer to the x-axis. Um, so 1 third, that's going to be up 1 and then right 1, 2, 3 before you get to another point on, uh, you know, at an elevation of 1. The same thing's true with negative slopes as well, um, except for like negative 1 half. You can think of that as um, down 1 and to the right 2. The bigger those numbers are, they're more steep, but in the negative direction. All right. Now, what if we have the exact same slope, but we change up the y-intercept? One way to think about this is as transformations. Remember, we've thought about transformations in a previous section, right? So if we think about this line, y equals x, um, that is going to have a y-intercept of 0, and it's going to have a slope of 1. Now, if I, oops, can't move that. If I think about x plus 2, that has a different y-intercept. Or you could think about it as being this exact same graph picked up and moved vertically up two units. You'll notice it's the exact same graph moved up two units. Same thing if you have a y-intercept of four. It's the same blue graph. I'm going to try it one more time. Yeah, picked up and moved up one, two, three, four units and set back down. Same thing if you went down one, two units. You would get that graph of x minus 2. All right, I hope this helps out. Um, do try to understand, though, the difference between changing up the slopes of lines and the, the uh, y-intercepts. Good luck.